noble black supremacy. And with this particular video, I got to ask this question. Is Melania Trump a human trafficking victim being held hostage against her will in the White House? I got to ask this because if it was a black organization, a black spiritual organization or group, you would be asking that question. Because that narrative always comes up when there's a black organization where there's a male leader. It, it, it appears to be patriarchal. And the female follower, whether it is, whether if it is his wife or wives or female followers, where they have loyalty to this man. And he has control over what they do and where they go. But they're pretty much the silent type. They don't have a lot to say. You would ask, well, are they under mind control when it comes to this black leader? Are they being held against their will? That's what happened with R. Kelly. He had multiple women a part of his organization, his family, where he was the alpha male. He was dominant. He was the leader. And you said, man, them women must be under mind control. They're not thinking with their own mind. It's human trafficking. They've been held hostage. This is what you say when it comes to a black leader and a black organization. These types of, of concerns arise. He's some type of narcissist or maniac. If these women choose to follow a black leader, teacher, or guide that the masses don't agree with or doesn't don't have mainstream views, you automatically believe and assume that the women that are following him are not thinking for themselves. They're under mind control to the point where you use hostage and human trafficking. You throw those words in there. You condemn him and you attempt to criminalize him. This has happened in many cases. Because you're going to understand why any black woman or women would support or have loyalty to a black man in the times that we are living in. But then when it comes to Donald Trump, who fits all of the requirements and the benchmarks of a human trafficker, of someone who exercises mind control and auto-suggestion techniques. That question doesn't arise for you. Melania Trump don't look like a sex slave that's been human trafficked and held hostage against her will in the White House. I mean, I'm concerned. Recently, she was visited by the French president and his wife. They visited the White House in D.C. And you know what the French president's wife had to say? That Melania Trump don't get to go outside. And she don't even as much, she can't even as much open a window. That she doesn't really have freedom. But she seems, seems happy. But if that was a black leader of an organization or, of, or the head of his family. And they, all, they were all in alignment with the same religious ideology or philosophy. They would go under scrutiny and attack. But since it's Donald Trump and it's white supremacy and it's the White House under the auspices of government.
human trafficking don't even arise in your mind. Mind control doesn't even arise in your mind. But everybody in the White House have to swear a loyalty and allegiance to Trump. That's a cult. And if you don't have true loyalty and allegiance to Trump, as Comey has stated, then you get fired. He gets rid of you. He gets you off of his squad. Everybody there must have a cult mind to be with Trump. They have to agree with him. They have to be yes men. So he fits all of the benchmarks of a court organization. Make America great again. That's cult ideology. That's a cult. Now Melania Trump might not want to be in that cult no more. But she may have seen too much. She understands the Illuminati rituals and how disgusting Donald Trump is. He's been accused of groping all of these women. Flings with prostitutes and porn stars. Stormy Daniels. Telling prostitutes, you look like my daughter. You remind me of my daughter. Questionable relationships with his daughter in the past. All the benchmarks of the dom domineering narcissistic cult leader. And no one even asks that damn question. When there is evidence. Witness testimonies that she can't even come outside. In one picture. You see here Donald Trump standing next to Melania Trump. And he's trying to grab her hand in the video. So just Google the video. I'm not giving it all to you here. Do your research. Don't just take what I say. Go and research it for yourself. She's fighting with him in this particular video. She don't want to hold his hand. Because she's meant to keep up a certain standard, a certain image. Because she has Stockholm Syndrome. See, these words are applied when it comes to a black leader or a black organization. Y'all apply all this ideology, but when it comes to this white supremacist, white leader in the White House, under the auspices of government protocol and the United States government, he can get away with this shit. He can get away with patriotic male chauvinism. Sexism. He can get away with all that. There's no question. He, uh, he, can, he can act with impunity and immunity. But this looks like human trafficking. I have to ask that question. When it comes to black organizations, tell the truth. You always asking that question. Melania Trump barely speaks English. Barely got a good grasp on the English language if you ask me. She's not from America. Is he human trafficking and smuggling an illegal alien as a sex slave in the White House? Why you never ask that? I ain't seen no birth certificate or no green card. Why you never ask that? Now you see Melania Trump here in this outfit. She has to be silent. She can't come out and just say what's going on. Her life is threatened. She feel like she will be murdered by the Secret Service. Trump's cult followers. That they will kill her because she's seen too much. And they don't trust her because she's not comfortable with this sleazebag Trump. She's not comfortable with him. So they don't trust her. So she's being held captive. And forced to maintain a certain image before the public. While she's being held hostage in the White House. But she has to be silent. She can't just come out and scream and cry out for help. That's why she has to wear these outfits. Look at this outfit she got on. Screaming for attention. Why would the first lady of the, of the United States of America... 
the wife of the president need attention. She's in a, poten in a position to get all the attention that any woman could ever possibly get. So this cry for more attention must be relative to something else that's going on. Must be related to something that's going on behind the scenes. You down talk Obama. But was Michelle, was she able to lead the White House when she felt like it and open the White House window? She was, hell, hell, she was able to garden. She had a garden in the White House. Come on, let's let's think about this. Is Melania Trump a victim of human trafficking? A sex slave of the Illuminati? You saying, well, this is Trump's wife. Is she under mind control? They showing you one thing. But we seeing the, the markings of another. And we so good at being able to see them because they've tried to place all this shit on black leaders and black organizations. So they taught us all this. They gave us these, these informa this information, these categorizations. They gave us this narrative. Now we're taking it and we're in a plot, we applying it to them. Millennia Trump, she's silent. She don't talk enough about her relationship with Trump. She don't speak about it. Why she don't get up there and talk about their relationship and what's really going on? She's under mind control. So if this white man, Trump, has authority... To expect a certain type of loyalty and organization around him. That this is permissible. We understand that because he's a president of white supremacy. But if this was if Trump was black right now, this would be questioned. This would be under attack. What's going on with that sister? Y'all better see if that sister's alright. I don't feel comfortable about that. Something just don't sit right with me about that. But when it comes to Melania Trump, oh, that's just the White House. That's just the, the protocols of the White House. That's just how the government operates. That's nothing strange. That's just how things go. That's just how white supremacy is. Is this why the white man is able to rule the world? Because subconsciously we allow the white man to do whatever the fuck he wants to do and set it up however he needs to set it up. But when it comes to black people, they have labels and categorizations to defame and destabilize their organizations, to attack their leadership, to mislabel them. And desecrate their organization and their structure and put a narrative on it where it will fail. But when it comes to them, oh, it's protocol. It's, it's security. It's, it's, it's just a security protocol. This is how we operate. I mean, y'all got to look into this. If this was any other situation, it would be unacceptable. It would be unacceptable. You all would be... You all would be complaining and making an issue out of this. But since it's Donald Trump and it's a white man and it's the White House and it's done under the auspices of government, of white supremacy, you are letting this human trafficking situation slide. Y'all letting this mind control shit slide. Y'all letting this hostage situation slide. Y'all know this woman is being forced and pressured to continue to maintain an image and be in a relationship with this fucking sleazeball. And to maintain a certain demeanor for national security interests. She'd have been left this motherfucker, man. So with the pressure of the government and the Secret Service and the cult followers around Trump. Along with the mind control that's being pushed to her on a fucking daily basis. She is human trafficked and held hostage in that White House against her own will. Y'all know there's no way she would continue to be with this fucking sleazeball. This scum. This fucking womanizer. There's no way she would continue to go on with this. 
give this devil a taste of their own fucking medicine. We let him off the hook, but we continue to attack ourselves and our leaders for trying to set up our organizations and our nations in ways that's necessary for us to do it. We're doing what we need and what we have to do in order to build our own kingdom, our own empire, our own nation, and our own government. And we get criminalized and condemned. And you put the wrong narrative on the shit that we do. But when the white man do it, you turn the other cheek. You turn it. You, you look in the other direction. You don't see it. You're a patriot. You're proud of this behavior. It looks right. This tradition. It's the way things go. We understand. It's the government. It's Trump. It's the White House. It's human trafficking. It's hostages. It's sex slaves. It's Stockholm Syndrome. It's King Noble Black Supremacy signing out.